Hello everybody, my name is Alex and welcome back to Civilization 6 Rise and Fall as the Zulus. We're going to carry on in this episode doing what we've been doing for the last few and hopefully we're going to start to build a military force up here near Nodwengu and then attack the Norwegians, something like that. Um, so we'll make plans for that in this episode. We'll also carry on building up our neighbourhoods, things like that and just building up our infrastructure so that we're much better placed when it comes to fighting our next war. So let's get on with it then. Once again I apologise... Uh, ooh, a new general. Yeah, you can just go to sleep there. I apologise for the poor recording quality. That will improve in the next week or so. I literally, I'm just... A couple of hurdles to jump over and then I'm going to um, order the PC. I've got the new monitor. The new monitor and um, keyboard and mouse I've got as, have arrived today off Amazon. So it's just... It just seems to be dragging on a little bit. But yeah, I apologise for that and hopefully that'll be, um, that'll be rectified soon. Right, our builder here. I'm guessing if we have a builder around, it means we have housing issues somewhere. Yes, we do. We have some in Tarsus. So we need to build some things that help out housing. We could chop some rainforest down and build some farmy things. Um, I don't think a mine gives housing. I don't know, that's a quarry, Alex. Does a mine give housing? No, it just gives production. It'd say, wouldn't it? Yes. Um... Let's chop some trees down. Zoom in, you stupid thing! For God's sake. Okay. Well, we'll deal with that next turn. Another great person. We have got so many great people at the start of this era. Who is it? A great merchant. Adam Smith. Uh, I think I did mention we'd get him. Adam Smith, the founder of modern economics, I believe. Um, with his pin factory and the um, division of labour. I, I did economics at A level. I wasn't very good at it, but um, you learn some things. Um, so yeah, let's recruit him. Gain 500 gold, that is nice. Grants one governor title or recruit a new governor, nice. So we get one governor, um, yeah, kind of one governor point kind of thing. So we will recruit him. It doesn't look like he has a passive ability, so we'll have to use him pretty much straight off the bat. I'll take the era score though. Era score is always nice. Oh, Amsterdam is such a culture hub right now. You go there and... Yeah, there we go. Adam Smith. I don't remember him being black, but fair enough. Um, he might have been actually. I don't know. I just don't. I don't think he was. Um, gain five hundred gold. Grant one governor title. Yes. Not that we particularly need the gold, but you know, who am I to complain? The governor title is even nicer, really. So at the end of the last episode, or the last time we got a governor governor title, we were talking about where to use it. I think ultimately we used it with Pingala just to help our great person people points and see that's already paying off so that's good. So where should we use this one? I think Amani is where I wanted to go next so we'll go there. So cuz she can be quite powerful if we if we need to deploy her. So we, we've got all the, the only one we've actually used with Amani is Emissary. So we can still go either prestige or affluence. So prestige or other cities within nine titles, titles, Jesus, nine tiles gain plus two loyalty. Um, I'd like to go this way simply because I'd like the plus four amenities. Good, glad we've used that. I don't know where is she deployed. Non Goma, why are you deploy deployed in Non Goma? Where is Nongo? <laughs> I don't even know what our, that's this there. So what's she doing? She probably doesn't need to be deployed there. Um, I think loyalty is fine to be honest. I mean we can have a look. Full loyalty. Massively on our side. Nantes has got victory in so I don't see that converting to the French. Ruin, I'm guessing, is pretty loyal to us, but we'll see. Used to be French. Rising by 14, that's nice. Buenos Aires, how are you doing? How are you doing? 29, yeah, so I mean, everywhere seems fine, loyalty-wise. Let's just check our Persian cities. Yeah, they're pretty loyal to us, so that's good. Um, so I don't think we need Amani in Nongoma. We'd probably be better deploying her right now in a city-state, so I think we'll probably do that. But which one? Where do I want the envoys? Wrong screen. Um, 
Antioch's there. I'd... No, we're fine. Cyrus is going to try and get his dirty little hands over it, but it's not going to happen. Babylon, we don't have any in. Carthage, we want to attack, so I could send a civilianus. No, but we don't need to. We're doing fine. Huh. I mean, we could always go Babylon and then try and get some extra science. I would quite like the plus two science in every library building if we can make our way up to there. We can always move her, can't we? Um, yeah, we'll do that. Only as a temporarily thing. Tempor a temporary thing. There we go. Because I'm not quite sure what to do with her. Can we even send her to Babylon? We can. Babylon. Hopefully we'll be able to get some idea of what the Norwegians are doing around there as well. So that'd be pretty cool. Cool. Ah, a new city awaits. I think this is the first city we have founded in absolutely ages. Did I decide I was founding it there? I think I did, because it's in range of everything and it looks okay. The only problem we're probably going to have is a bit of a lack of production. But we've got plenty of gold, so we'll try and amend that as quickly as possible. Um, as well as possible. Ooh. Quad Uzu. Hang on, here we go. Quad Uk Uza. Quad Uk Uza is the latest city in our sprawling empire. Another civilization. Good. I'm glad they're looking all, and I'm even more glad we get that bloody era score. Go clear that out, please. That three era score is nice. We're now only 30 off a normal age. Yay. Um. We need a builder, don't we? But I'd, yeah, we're not going to be waiting 130 turns for a builder. That, that's probably too long. Adam Smith, that gold you just gave us is going on a builder. We'll get the city to build um, a granary. We'll start on there. It's cool. Nice, nice. Yes, yeah, the only thing is there's very little production around here. So we'll have to see what we can do, really. Donatello, what are we doing with you? I actually do not know what we're doing. I'm guessing you're going down here. All right, there you go. Oh my God, there's already a great person in there. Margaret Cavendish. Yes, produce that. Out of this room, there was a passage into the Emperor's bedchamber. Ooh. The walls whereof were of jet, and the floor of black marble. The roof was of mother of pearl, where the moon and blazing stars mm. were represented by white diamonds. And his bed was made of diamonds and carbuncles. I don't know why we listened to that, but we did. Is there still room in there? There we go. I don't know why I listened to all of that. I honestly have no idea. Ooh. Foreign city gains independence. Off Australia. So you're offering me salt, which is a luxury resource. I like that. I like that a lot. And one gold for 30 turns, so essentially 30 gold for some horse and marble. I don't think that's a bad offer. I don't want open borders with you, really. I think you're about to get wiped off the face of the earth. Can we get rid of that? Why would I do that? Oh no. Negotiations have gone south. Um, I'll give you one. One gold. No. Yeah, it's all, it's gone, to, this has gone to crap. That is a shame, but I'm sorry. I, I ruined it all. I was happy with the initial deal. Had I been present at the creation, I would have given some useful hints for the better ordering nice. of the universe. Nice. Natural history. So, um, zoos, hermitage, ferris wheel, aquarium, water park, archaeologist, and antiquity site for the archaeologist to go and dig. Um, these are good because these are going to help out with amenities. I mean, I hate amenities on this game. By that, I mean I have problems managing them sometimes. Cool. Very nice. That is a civic. We don't get any policies with that civic, which is a bit unusual. Do we? I don't think we do. We 
can just change them, but I'm pretty happy with them. I don't have a problem with them. Okay, that's that's the city that's gained independence. Obviously, that was Japanese. The Australians captured it, and they didn't like that. I, th I feel like the Australians may win this war. Um, Babylon has made peace. Enemy spy. Ugh. Somebody's trying to nick our Tekos wing. Antiquity sites. One. One there. One. Oh, there's loads around us. Nice. Yeah, look, we're all the way up here. Cool. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, we have coal around here. Maybe we need to consider planting a city there. Nodwengu needs more housing. Oh, right. That's good because we can now build something there. And Paz... Oh, it needs more amenities. Okay, well, we can deal with that. We can deal with that when the bank's complete next turn. Do, 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 do. Right, builders... No, you, you need more housing, not amenities. Sorry. Um, well, we, we've just built a shipyard. We could go for the neighbourhood. I think we'll go for the neighbourhood. Right, well, I'm going to stick it there because... Yeah, we'll stick it there. Coolio. We shall then go for the civic of... I don't know. <laughs> um... I'd like the three envoys from conservation, to be honest. Yes, we'll go for that. Um, right, so this city, which I can no, just no point trying to pronounce the name of, um, has completed a harbour, which is cool. Harbours are cool. So we could go for a lighthouse, but we, we don't need to really. I mean, the housing nice, but we, we don't need housing here. So what do we need? Do, do, do. Statue of Liberty in 118 turns. Could get you building naval units. Although I don't think we will. Let bugger it. Just go for the lighthouse. Oh, we have some more envoys. Right, we're going to send one to Babylon just to get that plus two science... Um, in the library because we are sending Amani there and when she's established we'll then have three um, so we'll send one there and then we'll probably send one to I'd quite like to keep control of Antioch so there cool I would send him to Carthage but I have full intention of destroying Carthage I thought we'd created the great work there Alex should read Ah, uh, right. You're gonna have to move. Right. Okay. So Donatello can create some good works. Hmm. Can produce multiple. I think. We need more places like this. We have too much culture for our own good. Nice, okay, so we're gonna have to. We are working on culture though, I think. Yeah, we've got a theatre square coming on in Nabamba, but obviously that's gonna take a little bit of a while. You head up there anyway. I don't usually play kind of culturally, it's usually either science or military. That tends to be how it goes. Yep, yeah, remove that. Build a farm. Farm. Oh my god, look how many ancient ruin sites there is on here. Three, a full three. Should we work the olives first? I don't know. I should have probably gone and worked the lumber mill for the extra production. I'm here now, though. Okay, you go there. We will promote the frigate. go for the naval units one because it's trying to protect this island. We'll promote the frigate just to heal it is what I was going to say. Oh, Kyoto has been captured by the Australians it looks like. 
Yes, they have. The Australians have captured Kyoto. The warmongers. Okay. So our spies being sent back, but that's fine. Can you inspire the Norwegians, please? There we go. I want to see what's going on down there. Build a farm, yeah. I mean, we could have just built one there, couldn't we? But I don't know why I didn't. But I didn't. Oh, your immunity is a plus one again. So, very fickle people there. I would quite like... Well, we can't even... We need an entertainment complex. But we're going to have to wait till our population gets to 19. Jesus. Amani could be, be useful in there. Um, housing's... Uh, it's okay, but... It could be a lot better. Hmm, we could probably do with the Hermitage in there for the great works of art slots. Plus one era score for, from historic moments earned after this wonder is complete. Yeah, nice. Taj Mahal could be quite good then. Should we go for the Taj Mahal? Could do, could do, could do, yeah. Go on then. Why not? Should have probably built a neighbourhood, but no. We want the Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal. Um, yeah, you just carry on producing great works there while you can. Look at that, a horse. I, I don't appreciate this as I should. A guy and a horse. Or the equestrian statue of Gatamelata. Gatamelata, whatever. Thanks for that, Donatello. You're more than just a turtle. Um, right, let's explore a little bit. See what's around us. A turtle. Should we think about attacking Carthage now as well? Norway and Australia are allies. Oh, no. Well, that scuppered me. Many of us take better care of our automobiles than we do of our own bodies. Nice. Replacement parts, so we've now got infantry. Parts. Cool. Food market. But we've got infantry. That, that's the main thing for that. Our farms will now be upgraded as well. And although many dispute the actual start of the modern era. But we know, our people know that. It was when the Zulus discovered replaceable parts. That basically means we're winning. Yeah, Eureka to steam power. A spy of Norway has been killed. I'm trying to steal tech. Um, can we have a word with you? Because you are a dick. Why have... Um, I just want you to stop being a knob and trying to spy on me. I would never spy on you. Try and get some alliances going, actually, as well. Um, okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yep, yeah, but the neighbourhood's coming soon, so we don't need to worry about that. Tech, tech boost of steam power is nice. I would, I, would, I thought we had an alliance with you, Catherine. Do we? Or not? Make deal. I would like to set techie alliance. Uh, we... Hang on. Hang on. Have we declared friendship? Let's declare friendship. Oh, wow. She's not up for it. What a bitch. Slap me around the face then. You need to be very careful, Catherine. You need to be very careful. I thought we were friends, but... Um, you know, when the, the giant empire next door comes knocking and you tell them to sod off, maybe that could have upset a few people. Especially, especially now we know the Norwegians. Are friendly with the Australians. Maybe we need to consolidate our power a little bit first. Before we go after them. So thanks for making yourself a target basically. Catherine de Medici. We fought the Persian. Well we, we, we fought the Persian. She got stuck in when she found it. But no I feel a bit angry about that. Won't even be our friend. Will the Australians be our friend for a little bit then? Oh nobody wants to be friends with us. 
Oh, he, he wants to be friends with the Norwegians. Well, if he wants to be friends with the Norwegians, he can die with the Norwegians. Mm, right. Great. Looking good. Right. Send this force. What do you upgrade to? AT crew. Jesus Christ. Right. Let's form some corpse then. We are going to send this army down to France because she's now annoyed me. Also, I don't want to take on Australia and Norway at the same time if I'm worried France will get involved. So we'll take her out. You can come down here. In fact, no, you can stay up there because we do have Anna and Zynga down here. Now, she modern units as well. Our Renaissance and Industrial Era. Yeah. What are you? Yeah, you, you're probably going to be more used. So actually, you come down here. Why is that Persian Great General just go away? It's because it's trapped on its one tile, look. You come down here. And we will now kind of bring... We'll, I'm leaving the bombard because it's absolutely pointless. So we'll leave that up there. Um, shut up a minute. Let's bring that down. Pike and Shot Corps can come down. I mean, the French are so backwards. It's going to be like taking candy from a baby. Like, seriously. It's going to be embarrassing. And we'll just move some of these things over here. Ah, never mind. We do want to declare war, just not yet. Um, do we need housing in ruin? Do we need housing in ruin? No. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what tech to go for next. Tend to like to go for things we have Eureka's force. I mean, steam power would be quite good. Get that out of the way. But then again, artillery, steel. We could really do it against steel. And I did notice the Australians had it. I'd quite like that. Now yeah, we'll go for steam power first. I actually feel like we could wipe the floor with them now, but we'll build a little bit of an army up. Ooh, food market. So you can build a food market in a neighborhood. The Bamba. Yeah, you're going to have to carry on. Our amenities have gone to shit. You're going to have to carry on with this, aren't you? Oh, we've completed the shipyard in Valletta. I think we need to get as many entertainment complexes up as possible, really. We might need to go back to the Japanese and say, actually, can we have that salt? That's feeling quite likely right now. We need to start acting. I also want to... Take down Carthage. Um, so we'll do that as well. We'll, we'll start with that now. I, yeah, build, build an armory. Oh good, you can... Produce your final thing. Judith slaying holoferns. It's a sculpture. This guy's a sculpture. Sculpturist. Very nice. They're all there, look. They're all there in Pazagad. Great. Right then. So while we're moving troops down there, we do need to start producing more troops, I think. Um... Do you need to be in that Akanda? Probably not. Right, you move over here then. I do think the Pike and... Sh I mean, we, we could... we we'll probably try and build a bit of infantry to attack France, but I think the Pike and Shot will suffice. If we look on the Tech Ray... Mm, oh, there we go, yeah. We are leading with 42 technologies, and France has 30, so we have experienced troops as well. So we don't need to worry about that. I want to take the Carthaginians out just so uh, that's over with. Can we farm some corpses here? We could even form an army. That could be a shout. Yeah, so we'll try and do that. But we really need some infantry. If we can get a couple of pieces of in infantry. We've got a field cannon, which is nice, actually. 
Um, we should be looking okay. Uh, we don't have... Oh, we do have a great jam. We have Timur, but I feel like Timur is kind of... Eh, pretty much done for, but... I, li I like having a great general lead our troops. Okay, we'll do one more turn, and the next turn, we'll, next episode, we'll attack Carthage and really have a go start to have a go with France. We are going to have to sleep for a bit. Can somebody please remind me? Because I will forget he exists. The seduction promotion, nice. Ah, uh, I am destroying everything around my desktop right now. You just stay there. What do you upgrade to bombard? Artillery. That is going to be a good artillery piece. That's something to be positive about. Um, to be honest, I'm happy to keep most of this force up here. Yeah, we do need the lumber mill for the product. Look how our production. It's gone from 23 turns to 10 turns. So obviously, building that lumber mill was a good idea. Could settle down these down there just to like really irritate the Norwegians. Am I feeling in that kind of mood today? You know, I probably am. And London needs more housing, but Oxford University is more important. Right, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and record the next one straight away. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Civilization 6. And, you know, whatever. Just tell me what you want me to play in the comments. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Once again, I apologise for the um, visual kind of... The recording. The recording, let's be honest, it's a bit shit. But it wasn't like this. And then I got this PC kind of started playing up. So I've had to turn it down and then... Get my new PC in like a week, and it's it's a good PC. It will last me quite a while, um, and it is about ten times better than this. Um, so I'm excited for that. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you in another episode.